Johnny's ears just went back. Um, I think that the reason that the world lets the United States run roughshod, military all over the place, is because we have a democracy, and most people, not governments, see like legit the d the democratic process. I mean, the, the value of letting the crowd dictate what's going to happen but having checks and balances involved. So, at first, pretty much everybody was on board with it in 2000. Even in the American Revolution, the French helped the free colonies. Uh, the people are it's tough to speak for the people I know from experience watching other people speak for them is very annoying so I can speak for myself value democracy but well our voice my voice matters it has a powerful effect and so does yours So, the war shouldn't be happening. It should be a peaceful strategy. The amount of books and learning that can be written by the people in that area of the world, I mean, there's like six billion of them that are being affected. So what brought me to think of this was that, you know, you see the Russian army is actively dropping bombs in Syria. And like they didn't for a long time, they stayed out of it. But if you had, if you lived in the United States or wherever you live, if another country was causing military conflict like that, that close to your border, like if it was, if you were in the U.S. and there was like the Chinese military like went full on, took took over Panama and like, I mean, at first you'd be like, if there was a reason for it, maybe, like China's like, we're going to install peace here. But then if their government's still there nine, ten years later, and there's just all this warfare and it's like 700 miles away from you. Eventually, you want it to stop. So, you have to do, you know, you have to find peace. And the whole leaving military behind after a conflict is like not ideal, man, unless they want to live there. You speak the same language, it's not so bad. It's pretty easy to peacefully coexist. Yeah, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. I don't want to be preachy by going on and on about what we're supposed to do next, but... Installing internet? Basically, ISIS is like if American militia just went down to Nicaragua and stopped the conflict. Like 800 million Americans just 
got their weapons and went to, that that's like ISIS or like Canadians and Americans and Mexicans all just like no more conflict <laughs>